Kathy. We're back with Layla. Anyway, so a lot of what, you know, this dog has really some serious trust issues, and I'm not going to, oh, it needs to learn to trust nothing. Why wouldn't it have them, you know what I mean? It's, you know, and, and you have to continue everything about my body language. Part of what you have to think of, again, if you went to a foreign country where you didn't speak the language, and they seem to be coming at you and putting things on your neck, I'll tell you, they do that. There's countries in the world, I tell Summer these horror stories of things I've seen on the national news. She's horrified. But you know, right now, again, the dog is sitting on my foot. Um, you know, but what, what, what I'm saying to myself, my, my job is to, well, what I'm saying to myself is my job is to be able to be in the presence of this animal, to have this animal have enough confidence in me, it can just lean on me like that. And know that I'm not going to start poking and prodding and thumping and doing weird things. You know, what I want to say to people, this is what we need to do. This needs to be our episode somewhere. Uh, someone's like, uh-oh, she's off on a tangent. You know, mm -hmm. but we could go out in public and then, you know, when the people, you know, get like the friendliest one we have, like Duncan or something that, you know, likes getting petted, and then and then let people pet him and then say, what what is it your, what message are you sending with your... If every, every physical shit. touch means something to a dog, right? What, what are you trying to say? Just to get various answers. Yeah. Well, then write it all down and make a full-length book, the length of War and Peace out of it. All right, War and Peace is this book. Not that I've ever read the book, but people reference it in, in, in the back. In fact, James Patterson even referenced it because mm. uh, he said, I'm not writing War and Peace here. Um really, really long book, so, you know, if I said, oh, oh, Breck sent me a text message that read like war and peace, you would know that's not true because he only texts like one letter at a time. My communication with Breck is all the letter K. <laughs> you know, and then he addresses me as Kelly Blackwell, you know, whether he's exasperated. Sort of like I, you know, I better find out the meaning of this because that's how I address Dave Hoss. I don't call Dave Dave. I call him Dave Hoss. Well, I think Brex used to call him people by their last name, you know, in his line of work. I think he uses the He's first known and last for name. Years, so why is, why <laughs> yeah. Is and last oh, is it sudden? He probably likes it. Like, who are these people? It's a good name. I'll tell you who these people are. Dave Hoss, my YouTube character. All right, let me explain it. We haven't been having Dave in here that much. And Kathy doesn't know about Dave. My YouTube character. Just loves this indie rock singer, Dave Haas, that she found on YouTube. So she tries to get Dave to do all this YouTube and everything. Then she notices Dave is mentioning cocaine a lot. She doesn't like that. She sends Dave a Facebook message. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I don't think he really realized he was doing it. There's just so many videos on there. So he tells the front office, get rid of her. <laughs> I don't know who this chick is, but get rid of her. Yeah. Anyway, that was like two years ago. He still didn't get rid of me. And, and, and we're going to see him uh, in two weeks. So. <laughs> that was the Cliff Notes version of the story. And, I, you know, I just, I bug him. I'm annoying. I mean, I always try to tell him to do YouTube. I'm giving up, though. None of those guys do YouTube. It's terrible. None of that whole genre of music. Oh, Oh, and when Summer came in from slaving away yesterday, I had some very exciting news. Max is playing at the social. Mm -hmm. I, I bet this will be the one and only time Max will ever play at the social. Yeah, yeah that's going to be cool. Max is only 23. He's never been on solo tour before, but eh, you're going to cut your teeth in the music industry. You better go on tour. From what I can gather, I know nothing of the music industry, but from what I can gather, <laughs> from the way my, these people operate. Mine tells me. I saw this old poster. Oh, my God. Ah! I'll tell Summer that in the next episode. All right, you guys. So, anyway, down. Yay! Yay! You know, and I want to be able to say to myself, what am I saying right there to the dog? My hand didn't move. Oh, 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 girl. And I've got something called the sound box on. So, when you hear that buzzing sound, that's the pager. Everything about my body language down facing the way. And it's not even that, you know, people, I think people overcomplicate dog training, these people with all their little titles. I'm, I'm going to do my pager. That's what the buzzing sound is. 
I, I made it very clear that that was me. And again, I'm, and I'm being very deliberate. I'm not lurching around, spinning. I'm being very deliberate. I've got very good control. My dream is to go on Dancing with the Stars. With but the I dog. don't dance and I'm not a star. So, with I mean, the... so far, it's not going that good. <laughs> with one of the dogs. You're going on dancing like with the stars with the dogs. She never heard that to me before. That'd be fun. That was from my old ballet class. My teacher, yeah. Mrs. Crump. She said I was very talented. <laughs> she said I had a future. She's like, uh-oh. <laughs> so I'm cueing her. Yay! Okay, we're going to do a quick recall video. We'll be right back.